Hi everyone, it's Gloria. Welcome back to Tinker Wonderland. Today I am going to share with you this beautiful Halloween spider web dream catcher. So if you guys want to know how to how I made this, just keep watching. For this DIY, I am going to use this uh, bicycle wreath uh, ring form. Yeah, this is what they call bicycle wheel, bicycle wheel with ring by Floral Garden. So I'm going to use this one. It's a perfect uh, round things that I can do for my um, for this uh, DIY, of course, for our web. And then I am going to use this uh, this yarn, orange and uh, yeah, black yarn to. Uh, to wrap around this um, with form of course I have a spider uh, spider web is nothing without the spider but this one is a little big I am trying to look for the smaller uh, a smaller spider that I have but I can't find it so I better I think I have to uh, get a new one <laughs> hopefully I can find another spider at the Dollar Tree so but for now just to show you the materials that I have I am going to use so here I have my spider here actually this one is a candy holder that's why you can see it's like a bowl it's a candle holder so I'm going to use a spider of course for our spider web dream catcher and then I will also add or uh, use some of this or well, all of this um, this uh, ribbon here and of course this one and this lace so i'm gonna I have a lace here purple lace so just to serve us the um the tail for our web uh, spider web dream catcher and then i always also add some of this spooky creature some of this um spider rings right here and this um I like this uh, Scorpio this one so I'm also gonna add this one and here go so let me start guys I am first I am going to uh, wrap this wreath this bicycle wheel wreath ring with this yarn and I'll be back and also guys uh, before I forget I am also going to add some of this feather for our dream catcher right here so there you go those are the items that I am going to use for this um, spider web dream catcher all right to start with I have to put this um, like I said I'm going to wrap around this um, bicycle rip ring with this yarn I know it is black it's already black so um, it's it doesn't matter but uh, the texture it will be nice if it's all uh, covered with uh, yarn so I'm just gonna wrap it well around so this is how I do it <laughs> so hope you guys enjoy watching this video if you also are thinking of doing something like this just let me know just give me a um, shout out so I will also uh, watch your video and just like that and uh, if you are new to this channel I hope you consider to subscribe on this channel guys we have a variety of videos on this channel hopefully you will check our content and you will consider to subscribe and uh just let me know if you subscribe on this channel also if you subscribe on my channel i also subscribe on yours if you have um, if you have um, also have a youtube channel so that's what i do we uh, support each other which is a good thing to do right so i'm just gonna go ahead and um, wrap around this yarn here And I will show you the end result, just like that.
So there you go, guys. As you can see, I'm trying. I'm trying to make the yarn closer to each other, so it will be wrapped around very well, or very nice. And I will just keep on doing this. I'm not gonna let you watch the whole thing of wrapping this uh, wreath form. And I'll be back once uh, I'm almost done. And I will show you the end result. And then we will move on to the next step. And here you go guys. As you can see, I already wrap around all the stems right here. With the black yarn that we have. Now I am on the last, last stem, or last, um, what you call this, pie, <laughs> last pie of this, um, bicycle wheel. So I'm just wrapping it like that. I like the, I like the texture that it creates, as you can see that it's like a hairy, hairy texture right there. So it creates a hairy texture on this. Uh, pie. So I am on the last pie of this um, this uh, wheel, and I will show you the end result, and then we will move on to the next step. So here you go, guys. Now all pie of our wheels is covered with the string, with the black string. I didn't uh, cut my string or my yarn. And I am now going to weave or um, weave the web on this uh, wheel. So I'm just going to do, since here is the end of my uh, yarn, I'm just going to do it or weave it this way. Just like that. I'm just going to make it um, uh, lighter or not tight. What I mean is not tight. So just like that. And all the way to just rivet it around this um, wheel all the way to the top of this uh, circle or this wheel just like that so like I said I am NOT I didn't um, make it tight so I'm just doing it that way, wrapping it around, all the way here, and then next here. So we have the first web, so I'm just going to do the second, do it here. So I'm just going to do it all the way the here, guys. And I will show you the next. So as you can see, our web is now forming. So like I said, it's loose. It's not tight. Just like that. It is easier if you put the yarn on the stick like this. So you can just keep on wrapping it around. So there you go. There is the la the second ra uh, second weave that we have. Now we're going to do the third weave. Just do it this here this way like that. Again, make it light or loose. Just like that. We're gonna make an, a little gap, just like an inch gap on each weave or each web. <laughs> I'm weaving the web. <laughs> there you go. I'm weaving the web. So, as you can see, guys, it's turning into a spider web. So it's easier to use this wheel uh, ring or wheel writ form, a bicycle writ form, just like that. And then we're gonna have to 
place it here and do it do the next weave there you go so i'm just going to continue uh, weaving this and i'll be back and here you go guys i have on the last uh, portion of my weaving or weaving of my web of course if you see if you notice the black <laughs> fur here it's my drake <laughs> he has to be with mom <laughs> always have to uh, check what's mom doing and here you go just like that guys so easy and then like i said we're gonna still have to do the last portion or the last part which is right here so i'm on the edge now finishing our web making it loose just like that So it's up to you guys how you would like to have your weave. So as you can see, it already it's already forming like a spider web. I want to maximize the space for our wreath here. What you think guys? Well, I think I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make it a little wider here on the side to make it look like a real, like a real um, spider web. I'm just going to leave it that way. There you go, guys. Our, we our web is uh, almost done. We have the, we, we weave the web right now. And uh, the next step, I, I am going to uh, wrap around the sides with the orange yarn. So here is our orange yarn. I'm going to have to put it in um, popsicle sticks. So it's it will be easy for me to wrap it around. And I'll be back. And here you go. I add some of this yarn on a stick. <laughs> I put it on a stick so I can easily wrap it around this um, this wreath so i'm just gonna tie it here this way hope i hope you can see that clear i'm going to tie it here so i can start uh, wrapping it around again guys if you are not if you're liking what you see or uh, what you are watching here at Tinker Wonderland or what you are watching right now I hope you can see that to subscribe on our channel check out our content guys and uh, I bet you will um, enjoy our videos here and consider to subscribe and you will find or you will see a lot of DIYs that I made here on this channel you can also see my uh, cat videos if you love watching kitties i have my tinker and drake on this channel tinker wonderland and also i'm also doing uh hauls dollar tree hauls walmart haul uh, barnes and nobles uh um high below and some other some other store hauls so if you are also interested to watch that kind of video i have that here on my channel on our channel because <laughs> uh, basically this channel was started when i yet started to uh, train tinker walking on a leash outside the house and then we uh and then i adopted drake or we drake first and then 
uh, once he when he is when he is ready for adoption we adopt him so he is part of our family now my little drake is now three years old and i also do some um, travel vlog if you guys uh, didn't know i am from the philippines i uh, also do some videos that i um do some videos that i got from the philippines <laughs> I am I am originally from the Philippines. I am Asian. I married my American husband. So now I am living here in the US. I've been here for almost 11 years now. So there you go. That's how I'm doing it. I'm trying to wrap the ring on the side with this orange yarn so i'm just gonna do it i'm just gonna do this guys and finish it and i'll be back so right now i am on the last part of um, weaving our web right here guys as you can see i'm almost done weaving the side of our web just like that and then i will show you the next step once i'm done with this i will show you the next step that we'll, we're gonna do with this uh, dream catcher spider web so now as you can see guys we are done weaving our Oh, sorry for that. Drake is the bump on the com uh, on the cam. So we're now done weaving our um, spider web. Now we're gonna move on to the next step. But before we move on to the next step, I am so glad to tell you guys that I found the spider that I've been looking on. This is uh, from one of our. Uh, very sweet and loving sister here on youtube corina shout shout out to corina from mommy's and timberly's adventure so this spider is from her and i think she gave this to me two years ago or a year ago i can't remember but i know this is from her so i even told her that are you trying to freak me out <laughs> or <laughs> scare me <laughs> But uh, there you go, Corina. There you go, sis. Finally, I, uh, I found a place for this spider. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to paint this with uh, uh, with uh, black. I'm going to paint it in, in black. So uh, it will match to our uh, spider web. Before we move on to completing our spider web, I am going to paint this so it will... Um, it will dry, it will get dry uh, before, uh, once we're done with the web, I can already put this on to our web. So yeah, of course, we need a spider <laughs> for our, a spider web will not be a spider web if there's no spider in it. So yeah, there you go. I've been painting it. I'm going to paint this in black all black you can also paint, uh, spray paint this if you don't have um oh to um to just uh spray oh save some time but i don't have a spray paint right now and i uh i am painting here inside the house so i can't use paint, uh, spray paint <laughs> and this is if you notice guys this is a skeleton of spider which is more creepy <laughs> than the spider that we are getting from uh, dollar tree so yeah i was i've been thinking <laughs> where is my uh, spider i need my spider and i've been thinking where i put it and then when i'm trying to uh, look for my uh, cat skeleton which i got from uh, dollar general i tried to look for that and i found this one hola <laughs> He knows that I'm looking for him. So there you go. <laughs> so I'm going to paint all this in black. 
and we will add this to our spider web it's gonna be cool guys so it doesn't matter if um if i paint the whole thing uh in pure black because i am not worried about that it's good that it also has um some um, character on it it will add dimensions too with the uh, imperfections <laughs> so yeah and it will also look more age like an old or or dying or like i said it's a skeleton um spider so I just don't think that the um, multicolor fits for our spider web now. So I just decided to paint this in all black. If you notice guys, I'm also using the basic Susan that I got from the trip store. It is a perfect way of... Uh, like without holding the if you're painting like this you don't need to hold the materials it will just roll and you just keep on turning it by you using this uh, lazy susan so just like that as you can see i am not holding the spider anymore i just keep on turning the lazy susan which makes the job easier <laughs> and uh, more clean without touching any any paint so there you go i should be I'll, I'll be happy with that so i don't need to cover the or uh, paint the under other side of this um spider because it will be covered by the web so just like that and besides the other side is all already black and with some with some gray on it so i'm not worried about painting it so there you go the spider is now black so i'm just gonna wait for this to dry well and it should be dry while i'm working with the rest of the uh, spider web dream catcher And I'll be back guys here you go guys it's a little bit dry now so I am dry adding some of this metallic silver it's a metallic silver finish um, to um, just to add a little bit of um, dimension a little bit of dimension to um, let's say just to give more definition on this spider to highlight some of that skeleton <laughs> or the because it's all oh, it's does it look nice if it's all plain black so we're just gonna add some of this gray like i said to highlight some of the bones that he has there and it should be done and we'll be ready to attach to our spider web dream catcher so just like that a little bit I, i'm just dubbing this um paintbrush on it to give it a little dimension especially on the eyes so you can see the eyes right there so creepy <laughs> things like this is so creepy for me <laughs> but hubby like it hubby loves halloween <laughs> so there you go again i'm just gonna uh, wait for this to dry and we will i will move on to the next step of our dream catcher okay so now let's move on to our uh, spider web guys since our spider is still 
drying trying to dry <laughs> so we're gonna I'm, oh i'm going to add some of the uh, ribbon and yarn on this um on our spider web or our dream catcher so i'm just gonna add some of this so as you can see i pre-cut my yarn and ribbons so it i can already uh, just add it here and we're gonna make it work just gonna start doing it here well maybe i better do it this way <laughs> one at a time though yeah I'm gonna do it here. Put the ribbon in the middle. Just like that. Let me do it the other side. I just realized that I don't have more re, um, black ribbon, ribbon or yarn, but or even lace. I don't have any black, but uh, I'm just gonna make whatever I have. I'm just gonna make it work here. So just like that. So I started to add this ribbon right here on the bottom. Then we're just gonna add the rest of it. Usually when I do a dream catcher, I uh, make, I always make a tassel, but this time I am just going to tie some of the ribbon and uh, string and lace to make the job easier. <laughs> I'm just doing it this way. So it's up to you guys there is no right or wrong for in doing this project of course i have my drake and the underneath the table trying to get this uh, ribbon here i have to uh, put it away from him he is so attracted with my ribbon <laughs> that is my baby <laughs> my silly baby okay guys so let's just concentrate on this <laughs> even my drake is being a turd <laughs> oops sorry i'm not on i'm not on the frame so just like that put them all together We're gonna have to cut this one because it's too long. I'm gonna cut it. My Drake here is not watching me. So put it here in the middle or in between. Just like that. I'm just we're, um, just putting all this yarn and ribbon and lace all together and just tie it here, this way. And there you 
go. How you? What you think, guys? How it looks? I think I'm gonna have to add more, so it will be full. I'll be back. And there you go, guys. So I just keep on adding the yarn and the lace and the ribbon on my uh, dream catcher for the tail until I am satisfied with it. <laughs> I think that's uh, gonna look right or gonna look good. There you go. So next, I am going to. Um, add some feather on it so that's the next thing I'm going to do is to add some feather so I'm gonna be using this black feather and of course the orange one so I will just put it in random place here in our dream catcher I got I got some blue glue on my uh, arm here but I'm okay so I'm just gonna add some glue here so hot glue guys <laughs> don't do what I did <laughs> it really hurts so I'm just gonna put it here like I said it's just in a random place there's no There is no, um, what you call this? <laughs> I don't know what to say. So I'm going to put this one here. Got to, I have to add more glue to stick it in. Put one here. Maybe another orange on this, on the bottom. Maybe this one here. Let's put some glue. Just right here. There you go and less black let's put it on this side stick it in there you go might as well put this other orange here on top so it's gonna be alternate might look better just like that and here you go guys our dream catcher tail is done now I'm going to add of course a Spider web will not be a spider web if we don't have a spider. So we're gonna add the spider. For sure, it is dry now. Yes, it is dry. So just gonna add this here. I will try to uh, check in what in what place I am going to put it here in. So maybe like that. And then I also add some, I'm also gonna, going to add some of this um, spider ring. So this is how it looks. It is orange, but I just painted it in black. So maybe I'm just gonna add them here. They are like the baby spider. Just like that.
can also add some of the ribbon here to uh, so I can uh, hang it so I'm just gonna add this spider here so that should be nice what you think guys do you guys can see my spider because in my cam it's blurred <laughs> so maybe like that I don't know how can I align it there we go it's a little hard to stick it here Okay guys, I'm just gonna keep on moving here, I keep on sticking my spider and I'll be back. Alright, and there you go guys. I had a little hard time to uh, position this big spider here but i make it work. So here is our spider web dream catcher. Hope you guys like it. If you like what you are seeing, please consider to subscribe on this channel. You will see uh, more of our uh, DIY, Halloween DIY on this channel. So, hope you will consider to subscribe. And there you go. Here is our spider web dream catcher. guys for watching have a good day and a good night and guys you can also follow me on facebook at gloria custodio that gardener and on instagram at chigardner.26 and um, also don't forget so to subscribe on this channel tinker wonderland and also click the bell button next to it so you won't miss any of our video and guys always remember Every day is a blessing, so start your day with a smile. God bless everyone. Thank you all for your love and support since day one. And I will see you on the next vlog.